Back in 2009, I got two shooters in my local GameStop that would change my views on first-person shooters forever. One was Prey, which I've already talked about, and the other was The Darkness, a truly underrated game that has stood the test of time very well. The story of The Darkness is one of its strongest aspects, pulling in the drama and action right away with our hero, maybe, Jackie Estacado, a mob man waking up in the aftermath of a job gone wrong with his colleagues arguing over some missing money. And not too long after that, a highway shootout ensues. Feeling as if the only way to make up for the lost money, Jackie heads off to kill a man their boss, his uncle, wants dead. But it turns out that Polly instead wanted Jackie dead, thinking him to be a threat, blowing him out of a window with a bomb. Miraculously surviving, and not only that, but gets bestowed with a horrible, but very cool power named the Darkness. Now Jackie must find a way to kill Polly before he dies, find out what this darkness is, and if he can even control it. While some of what I said sounds ridiculous, the game plays the story very straight in every cutscene. Jackie is in a constant struggle to keep his evil in grasp, or just keep his dickhead uncle at bay. It all works from the dialogue with random strangers to seeing your beautiful girlfriend Jenny, the light of Jackie's life. It's the small moments that really bring it all together into something truly special, and I give props to Starbreeze for really going for it. Now, the gameplay of The Darkness is a mix of simplistic first-person shooting with crazy comic book powers. You get a handful of guns to use as you pick up all your ammo and weapons from dead bodies and stockpile a lot, where your only real indication of no ammo is dropping your gun. Your reticle is also pretty small, but it sort of auto-aims for you once the crosshair is close enough, almost like in Doom, but not quite as easy. There's also no running in the game, and your health is the classic bloody screen, so you might want to resort to cover. Or so you might think, as your darkness powers actually come in handy during these crazy firefights, and it's what you'll be using for most of the game. You'll get a small display of all of them at the beginning, and then you're slowly given them as you progress. My favorite has to be the demon arm, a long tentacle that stabs through enemies and throws them away, and the ancient weapon which are the guns made from the darkness's energy and runs off them for ammo. There are two more powers, and a set of minions you can summon to attack enemies, distract them, or even take out lights to help keep your powers running, since the darkness needs dark to survive. I mean, if you didn't already get that. It can get a little annoying running in and shooting out all the lights, but it's not a big deal. What is an issue is your health. It sucks. Luckily, the darkness acts as an armor, giving you further incentive to take out lights. Also, the game is pretty short, clocking in at about 6 hours, and that's kinda crappy. But if you want to stretch out the playtime, there's a lot of collectibles to find, like outfits for your minions, or even concept art and cheats. You can even watch entire movies they put in the game, like To Kill a Mockingbird and The Man with the Golden Arm. Guys, I can talk about this game all day, but I think it's time we wrap things up. In the end, I'll give The Darkness a 7 out of 10. While I say I love it, and it holds up very well, there are a few small things that haven't transitioned over the years, and it could have been better with its shooting mechanics. Still, I highly recommend you check it out just for the story. So guys, I'll see you on the next Quick and Easy.